Hello. Today I've got a, I guess you'd call it a production job on a conventional lathe. I have this part here to make. It's a pretty straightforward part. It's just a bushing. It's going to be welded onto a frame to make a pivot point. Uh, this is a frame that's going to rotate. Uh, there's 20 frames have to be fabricated. We're going to do that later in a few weeks. Um, each frame takes two bushings, so I have to make 40 of these bushings. Um, in preparation for welding them into the frames. I've already uh, I've already done some of them. There's a few of the finished ones. Uh, these are the blanks. I just, uh, it's just two inch cold rolled, sawed them to length, and then I set up a stop in my spindle of my lathe and I faced these to length and just rough drilled them to size. What I have to do today is Turn the shoulder here and bore. And those are the important services. This uh, piece kind of goes into a hole in a piece of steel and sits there and then it gets welded in right where the shoulder is here. So the only important surfaces are um, this shoulder here, this small smaller diameter. It has to be square to the shoulder. The shoulder has to be square to the bore. The small diameter has to be accurately sized so it fits in the hole in the frame. And the bore has to be accurately sized to fit a um, one and a quarter inch ground shaft. Anyways, I just thought I'd show how I'd set it up to do this. Would likely be a better job for a CNC lathe, but I don't have such a thing. And my customer didn't really want to send these out to anyone else. He just wanted me to do them as part of the whole project. I'm going to do this without coolant uh, so I can get a better view of it with the camera but normally I'd use coolant for this
that's it. After uh, all four of these are done on the lathe, then I have to go to the milling machine and drill and tap. Uh, I believe it's a 3 8 coarse threaded hole through here for a set screw that's going to hold the shaft in place. But that's about it. I got uh, 29 more of these to go. I think I'm doing about nine an hour, so should get them done in time to go home. Thanks for watching. This is for Max over in Australia. This is about the closest we get to kangaroos here in Canada. These fairly large jackrabbits around. They're just changing color from white to brown as we come out of winter and head into summer. Where'd he go? There he is.